Welcome everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew. It's been a while, hasn't it? And we've played through the entire campaign last time. And now, the Legendary Edition is here. Which means, a f well, a new campaign is available with uh, androids, as you can see down there. Well, I don't know, they look more like robots, but we'll see. There we go. Android Ambush. That is a very cool menu here. <laughs> Look at all those robots down there. Well, I guess androids. That's cool. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say, we'll be using the names from the previous uh, so soldier application or crew application from Space Crew. Uh, because, well, this has been sort of a short, short notice. Additional campaign. This campaign doesn't feature the tutorial and is slightly tougher than the main campaign. If you're new to Space Crew, it is recommended to start the main campaign first. We've already done that, but, um, yeah, I, I've forgotten a lot about Space Crew, so this is gonna be interesting. Several years after the end of the Phasmid War. <clears throat> well, we still have the base. We've been tasked with safeguarding a colonization mission in the Alpha Centauri system. The mission aims to create a new home for us on the exoplanet Arcadia Prime. The colonists have established a spaceport there named the Arcus. Our task is to protect it at all costs. We'll be joining our sister station, the Orion, already stationed in the Delta Quadrant. Oh yeah, I forgot, because this station, this particular station, our station, can actually jump. Set target coordinates to Alpha Centauri. Because we have that Phasmid wormhole thingy. Charge wormhole drive. Well, engage. They don't wait about, do they? It's all go. Whoosh. The Alpha Centauri system. Very, very good. Man, I'm, I'm excited about this. Space crew is fun. Wormhole travel successful. Welcome to Alpha Centauri. Oh, there we go. Well, that's familiar. <laughs> the mess hole adjusts difficulty. What, what's difficulty? Classic. By tagging enemy fighters. Semi-automatic. Enemy fighters will be tagged automatically when a member of uh, your crew is at the calling station. Enemy fighters are tagged automatically. You can focus on managing your crew. Okay, we'll do a classic. <clears throat> Most players, you'll have to learn how to best use your ship's loadout. Panic stations. The odds are further stacked against. You only recommend... We'll do challenging. Classic crew size. Oh yeah, we can do increased. Slow time classic. Uh, we'll be limited. Okay, this is the default setting. All right. So, first of all, we need to go to recruitment. This is the recruitment room. New recruits will come here to fill your crew. Oh, we already have crew slots and crew. Uh, okay, continue. So I guess I go bomber crew import crew gear. I guess we can do it here. This is the crew gear room. In here you can customize your crew's gear. Someone got uh, blown out of the airlock. Or sucked out of the airlock. Different crew gears will have different properties, such as resistant to damage, resistant to radiation, or improved mobility. Right. So, it is time to name new crew members here. Uh, customize. Alright, so the first one we have is a Blitzer. Welcome to the crew. Some people only gave uh, one name, so that's what we'll do for the name and the surname. Uh, Alright, Blitzer. There you go. And got a sort of a World War II type helmet almost. You're the captain. Then we've got... Another person who is going to be McLang. Oh yeah, there's no. Uh, come on. I'm I'm putting in um, capitals and such, but there's no. He he must have seen stuff because. <gasps> but he is smiling, so I guess that stuff was good, or maybe it scarred him so much for life that he just, yeah, somewhere else. All right, then we have. Who else do we have? Joe Simon. So I guess we'll do it like this. I don't know which one is the first name and last name. Simon. Okay. So well, the second one is the name. Welcome to the crew. Rogers, who's been in a refrigerator for too long. Or more like a freezer, really. 
Uh, that's going to be Delta 3 4. Welcome to the crew. Delta 3 4. Alright. Is that really. Holy moly. Green and. Well, I guess you're gonna be frozen. <laughs> He's our security officer. We've got Paulina Ebner, who's going to be Great Rob. Welcome to the crew. And then we have Carillo, who is going to become uh, Kenshiro. Welcome to the crew. I don't know what people's preferences are for skin and, and, and sex and, and other looks and everything, so I'm just going to keep it as is. I could just randomize them, but they are already randomized, so that's that's all right. We do have some you know, frozen people on board, so hey. <laughs> all right, so let's see. We, we do have some credits, actually, so we could do stuff here. Oh, we already have that. Oxygen mask. Environment mask. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it on Battle Helmet. Uh, Discovery Helmet. A robust environment helmet offering plentiful supply of oxygen and radiation shielding. Oh, 20 and 60. That's not bad. Full face environment mask which protects the wearer from radiation. It contains a mid sized personal oxygen supply. Uh, do we have any more here? So you have to research that. Cycle arm, uh, color. Heavily armored. Yeah, this one. Light armored suit. This is the light armored suit Mark 1, and this is Mark 2. So I think we do want that for everyone. That one. Holster. Uh, you're not going to have anything personal. Cloak will be less easy spotted. Yeah, uh, this might be good for the captain. That's that's true. We do have an engineering tool and a face pistol. So I'm going to give the engineering tool to Simon here. To Joe Simon because that will be quite useful for him. Uh, greatly improves the efficiency of repairing ship systems. So he's going to have that. Then we have some gloves, heavy gloves, radiation shielded gloves. Uh, I'm going to leave you with these ones. I'm going to give the heavy gloves to people who, well, everyone else really. Uh, Delta tree as well. I have to be careful about my credits, but well, the survival of the crew is pretty important. Oh yeah, the powered boots are very, very good. Actually, the gravity boots are going to be excellent for Simon, so we're going to give him that, even though they do slow him down. Some additional mobility to the wearer. Yeah, we're going to do the gravity ones. And everyone else is going to have stuff that gives them armor, but we, we don't have anything better at the moment, so that's all right. Okay. Holster, we're gonna leave it at that. Alright, training. I don't think we can do anything in training at the moment. This is the crew training room. In here you can re uh, review the skills that your crew have acquired. Once a crew member reaches a certain level, you can train them with a secondary skill. Yeah, but everyone's level one at the moment. Spacecraft, that's the important part. This is the spacecraft hangar. In here you can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customize the appearance and name of your ship. Cosmic Javelin. Well, it looks the same as before. Uh, armor plating. We do have some armor plating available, but it's quite expensive. So that would pretty much take all of our stuff away. Shields are very important. Uh, slightly improved shield charger. Fairly basic shielding and recharges slowly. And we've got high capacity shields. Has a slow recharge rate. As you can see 75 and this is only 25 per cycle, I guess. But it's quick to regenerate. Uh, we're going to leave this as is. Uh, gravity generator. We never really upgrade this because we don't use gravity. Oxygen, that's fine. Uh, reactor stuff. What is this? Oh, we don't have... A oh, it actually tells you now that you don't have the money or you don't have the research points. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we like the efficient reactors, even though they get damaged very easily, but they give you a lot of power. Medical bay. All right, weapons. Well, a lot of stuff is already uh, enabled now. Uh, we're going to leave that as is because we don't have quite the money for it. Low emissions. Agile engines. We like the agile engines. Thunder engine, low emission. Uh, it is not particularly well armored and will uh, leak a large amount of radiation when damaged, but they are very, very good. Um, escape pods. Ah, 
We should probably get more equipment first. Away team gear. What? Oh, there's away team stuff now. Oh my god, that's awesome. Basic loadout, a minimal loadout consisting of two phase rifles and a single med kit. An advanced loadout consisting of two phase rifles and two med kits. And the ultimate loadout, which you have to research because, you know, adding more stuff has to be researched. Oh my god, so we have away missions now? That is awesome. Okay, let's do the library. I kind of like that. We usually use the... No, no, this one. Oh, I like that one a lot. <gasps> Oh, some of these are really cool. Uh, holy moly, look at that thing. Oh, these are the building colors. Ah, there we go. Oh, that, that actually really looks cool. I like that. I know it's I know it's a bit gaudy, but I like that. All right, so main text, standard text, cosmic javelin. This is, of course, going to be. Was it Firestar last time? Or was it Firefly? It's going to be Firestar now. All right, there we go. Select color. What should it be? Um, oh, that's the hue. Um, what should it be? Like that, I suppose. There we go. Firestar. All right, so equipment. This is really what we want. The uh, phase rifle here doesn't really help that much. Uh, that and the fire extinguisher, that's good because he, he'll need to get out every now and then. Actually, he'll have that. So over here, we can have the fire extinguisher and a phase rifle, maybe. Um, there. That one. Fire extinguisher times two. No, I want a fire extinguisher and maybe a med kit. Med kit spacesuit, yep. Med kit spacesuits. There's a lot of them actually. Lots of fire extinguishers here. That's good. Unfortunately, I have to pay for those. It would be good to have some more. Well, not really spacesuits, but no. You know what? I'm gonna leave it as is at the moment. I'm going to leave it as is. All right. So that's good. Engine systems armor. I will probably buy. Never mind, I don't have the money for that now. Alright, so let's finally do the mission. This is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Defend Colony Spaceport Arcus. We've received a distress call from Arcadia Prime. The colonists on the Arcus spaceport are under attack from an unidentified enemy. Go to their aid immediately and prevent as much damage to the spaceport as possible. Now, this is going to be interesting because I haven't played this in a long time, so I had forgotten pretty much everything. We received classified information that the enemy champion security officer Asimov has been active in the mission area. Proceed with caution. Already an ace? Holy moly. Alright, so let me remember things. Uh, so we do nothing in gravity, everything in engines for now. That's all we can do. Power priorities for engines. Because that'll give us a lot of uh, evasion. Uh, you have this stuff available here. That's good. Uh, we don't have anyone there. But that's fine. Because you usually... Part one, usually go here. McClang. That's for hacking and map stuff. Okay. And you're on these ones. And you're usually on that turret. I mean, usually, this is an entirely new crew, but yeah, there you go. I think that's how I usually have it. And shift. Okay, it doesn't... It's not shift. I can't remember which which button was it. Returns to station. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, that was slow time I was using. Darn it. Um, how do I save the stations? Toggle return to stations panel. Ah. Save stations. There we go. Return idle. Returns all idle crew to their nearest suitable station. Okay, that's cool. All right. So I think we're sort of ready. Well, probably not. How do I rotate? Oh, probably when we actually leave. Um, how do I leave? Launch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played this in such a long time. Oh, man. Oh, such a long time. Look at our beautiful ship. Alpha system to object. We've received a distress call from Arcadia Prime. The colonists on the Arcus spaceport are under attack from an unidentified 
enemy. All right. Go to the aid immediately and prevent as much damage to the spaceport as possible. <clears throat> Engage. Yeah! Well, this is exciting. Alphonse Centauri is... ...to objective. I'm assuming we're gonna get attacked. Incoming enemies? Yep. Alright, so no one has any special abilities in the moment. So this is all we can do. We can also do patrol. There's no evasiveness. Evasiveness actually is only 16%. Oh, ow! Incoming fighters. They match the description of the Arcus, uh, that the Arcus gave us. Open fire! What are they? Android fighter limited. Nice already. Very nice. Woo! Very nicely done, everyone. Ouch! Our forward shields are down. There's quite a lot of them, actually. Ouch. Rear shields have failed. Destroyed enemy fighter. More of them. Ouch, ouch. Okay, how about you go and repair that? Because that's quite damaged already. Get him! Our shields are all down. This is so bad. We still have armor, of course. Excellent. I'll have to check for... Um... Ouch. I'll have to check what the uh, hotkeys are for the next mission. For them to return to their uh, stations and such. Okay, we've destroyed an enemy. Excellent. Our lower shields are charging, but very slowly. Wow. I've been spoiled by... Uh, by having played this game before and having everything... Nice. Uh, upgraded. Alright, let's charge. Charging for hyperjump. Power diverted to engines. Yeah, those... How about we cancel the hyperjump? We'll have to uh, charge quickly. And if uh, they detect more enemies. But for now... Actually... Go and repair that quickly. Uh, because if you're charging for the hyperdrive, you cannot... Uh, I mean, everything else is off. So the shields aren't recharging. Alright, engage. I can't believe how quickly those uh, shields go down. Wow, this is cool. Look at that place. This is coordinator Y aware of the Arcus. We have enemies incoming. Defend the Arcus and ensure it takes as little damage as possible. Get him. I should probably just go straight for him. Oh, more of them coming. Come on. Ooh, what was that? Oh, they're attacking there, actually. We gotta go there and be a target. I'm looking at the uh, radar, if there's anything else. Not at the moment. Okay, let's see. The clang can't really do much here. So actually, I might have Delta Tree. Uh, I don't know. Not for now. No, because he needs to be there to operate the radar, of course. They've already damaged that part, look. Come on, go there. Custom waypoint, so we go in a straight line. Ah, but those guys are maneuvering. Man, this, this is fun. I've missed this game a lot. A lot of fun. There you go, get him, get him. Maybe they've rebalanced some of the weapons and such. Nicely done! There's not much else we can do right now, because nobody really has any special abilities. Um, you know, we can all only just repair the... the shield generators and such. That's about it. It's a good thing that these guys are going for us, not for the station. Well, very nicely done! Are these... Are my crew more accurate this time around? I feel like they're more accurate now. I mean, obviously they're level 1. But look at this. Usually... 
They wouldn't be very good at this. Very nice. Alright. More? Nope. To base. Excellent. Oh, defend the Arcus was optional. Interesting. Well, they did take a little bit of damage there. I'm assuming they can also destroy all these freighters. Probably, uh, well, all of these things. Maybe these landing pads. I don't know. I've missed this game. <laughs> This is cool. I love it. Okay, so slow time is control, accelerate time is shift, I believe. Power! Whoosh! Alright, more fighting here. Which is good. At last, I'm mean back to target. Been looking to get a head start on that whole exterminate all human shindig. Oh, he... Oh, shoot! That's an ace. That's not good. That's not good at all. You think you're gonna come out of this victorious hero? Please, ain't this in no cheesy retro sci-fi story. They're actually doing a pretty good job already. But he's just gonna go away. They've got some cool ships. Yeah, we've got a lot of new stuff. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. If we could get that guy. I, robot, you dead meat. <laughs> Holy shoot, they're just destroying all of these guys. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. It would be amazing if we got him down now. Damn it. Now I've got to be smart and careful and retreat. Thanks to you, this is damaging my Maverick rep. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, man, that's that's a shame. I mean, I didn't really think we had any sort of uh, hope of getting that guy. Not with level 1 equipment and level 1 crew and such, but it was kind of close, actually. It was close. Very nice. That was good. Destroyed enemy fighter. Good job. So people are still very good on health. I believe if I do this and press H, yeah, they go and heal themselves up. Okay. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> right, excellent. Yeah, go back to your post. Excellent! Our shiny, very colorful ship. What was that? Oh, that's the uh, beacon. Oh, that's the shields going. Oh, what was that? Was weird. He was just. Uh, Blitzer was avoiding a. Ow! Freaking hell! <laughs> and we've got no shields pretty much. Holy moly. Those asteroids hurt. What are you doing, Blitzer? I know the shields are low. You should, you should learn how to pilot this thing. Uh, actually, you can do tab. Why is it not shift? Ow! Okay. Man, these, these freaking asteroids are more dangerous than the uh, androids. I love this game. Alrighty. Tag Athena Station to land. Very nice work, everyone. Only 16% of it. But didn't we have in the main campaign at, at the end, like, 60 or 65 or 70% of Ace? Something ridiculous like that. We did take a bit of damage, but as you can see, everything is green still. So, uh, armor still held up. Nice. Legendary edition. Enemies cleared. Success. Nice. We also got research stuff. Yep, didn't get him. He doesn't look like an android, though. Spaceport protected. Excellent. Cosmic Javelin returned. Alright, let's see. If anyone is going to level here to level 2. Uh, yes. Perfect. Holy moly, actually level 3. Whoa, okay. So we got attack defensive. Uh, that's good. Defensive is very useful. Uh, request fighter support. Nice. Reactor boost. Nice. Shield replenish, good. Focus fire, very good. Auto switch weapon pod. Ooh. Wait a second. Uh, automatically switches dual weapon pods to maximize damage output against the current enemy target. Ooh, I like that. But it seems to be an active skill you need to turn on. Okay. Still like that. Heavy armor. Oh yeah, we we don't wanna we don't wanna look at that because we wanna find it out when we actually go to the uh, crew gear and such. So let's see. <clears throat> What do we have? We've got... Ah, see, now it actually tells you where the new... Oh. Where the new whoa. 
was that? Hawaiian shirt, what? Offers absolutely no protection to the wearer, but makes up for it in style. <laughs> oh, man, that's, uh, that's funny. Okay, so we've got the heavy armored suit mark one. And the radiation shield. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm thinking of uh, equipping that. What else do we have with gloves? We've got the powered gloves, which improve the mobility of the wearer. That will be very good for Delta Tree. He's got... He's got these gloves at the moment. 15 armor. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep it at 15 for now. And before we get any crew stuff here, we're going to check this systems. Oh. So what is new? I guess the gravity generator is new. Oxygen, balanced reactor. This is what we want, the efficient reactor. This is gonna be very, very, very good. Medical bay. Weapons. We got rockets. Ooh, the missile launchers are very good. Expensive, but very good. Lightning gun. Lightning gun. Oh, wait a second, that's new. Projects an arc of high voltage electricity. Has a chance to induce an EMP effect on targets. More effective against shields, less effective against shi uh, ship hulls and armor. Requires reactor power to. That is actually very, very interesting. Maybe I do want one of these. Actually, that DPS is not bad at all. What is that? Flak cannon. Interesting. There's new stuff. Yeah, the missile launcher is very good. But look at that, 73. If I have one turret with a lightning gun, and that gives it an option, uh, a chance of EMPing enemies, that is really powerful, because, you know, they won't be able to maneuver away and so on. That's very nice. Engines, this is also extremely important. The agile engines are what we want, so we'll be buying those, and now we don't have the money for something else, which is a shame. Okay. Uh, we're gonna leave that as is, and then go through the crew gear. Oh man, this game is fun. Alright, so very important, we want to be more armored here. We'll do the heavy armored suit. Uh, I think... Not everyone. I wish I could, I wish I could set that. So, for example, uh, Simon doesn't get what everyone else gets because, uh, well, I want him to be a bit more agile and maybe protected from radiation. Uh, provides fairly good protection from radiation. It's also pretty fast. Uh, but for now, he's... Uh, well, she's gonna keep... Well, it's, even though it's Joe Simon, maybe I should change that. Uh, what? Oh, body. There. Uh, because it is, it is Joe Simon. Blitzer, McClang... Rob. Yeah, Rob also kind of sounds... I don't like that beard. Um, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Um, and Kinshiro. Okay. <clears throat> so, holster, gloves. Powered gloves. Let's see. Delta tree. I'll give you speed. But not much armor. But that's fine. Okay. Have that. And you have the... Wait, what, what am I doing? Ah, shoot. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, fortunately, we don't have to buy them again. Because we now have bought them. Simon gets the powered gloves. Okay. There. And he's got this stuff. Okay, that's good. Oxygen mask. Alright. I think we're all ready, then. We don't have any more money, so, uh... It's gonna have to be the next mission. Well, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Give this video a like, and leave a comment down below, but that, because that helps me a lot. There's our pigeon, there, on the left. So, uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this, and... Wow, she's, she's angry. Look at that. Anyway... I'm going to see you next time. I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.